Hi, my name is Lian Zuli and I'm an English language teacher. In this lesson, I have concluded two activities. The first activity was to introduce vocabulary to my students. And um, they are vocabulary of tools of what a fisherman would use when he catches fish in the sea. And the second part would be a short quiz to help students recap the fun facts of sea creatures. Today we're going to do something really special. We're going to learn about the ocean. Our topic today is from the sea. sea. And we're going to talk about fishermen. What does a fisherman do? Catch fish. Okay, a fisherman catches fish. Where does he catch fish? Ocean. Ocean. What does he use to catch fish? Fishing net. Fishing net. Very good. In the first activity, I used a um, teaching aid that I have made myself. It's a picture on a manila card, which I printed from the internet and I just pasted it on the manila card. And at the back, I've actually fixed um, a flash card. So when I show the picture to the students, all I have to do is just remove the blue tack from the back of the picture and out comes a flash card. So I find it a very simple and a very creative way of teaching vocabulary to my students. I have a picture. What is this? A fishing net. Okay, so let's spell fishing net. F-I-S-H-I-N-G-N-E-T Fishing net. Good. Fishing net. Who can tell me how to use a fishing net? Okay, let me show you. First, you have to... Everyone, you have to take your net and then when you see the fish, what do you do? You throw it out like that. Okay, what else? What else can... Fishing rod. Okay, yes, I have fishing rod. Let me see. I have a picture of a fishing, fishing rod. This is the... This is where your line, your fishing line is. And this is where you will pull your fish in. Okay, let's spell fishing rod. F-I-S-H-I-N-G-R-O-D Fishing rod. Very good. Okay. So how do we use a fishing rod? We cast the rod out and then we wait, we wait for the fish and then when there's a bite, you pull it in, pull it in. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to show you something else. What do we have here? Boo-boo. Good, it's a boo-boo. Let's spell boo-boo. Good, boo-boo. Now I have one last one. Who can tell me what this is? Spear! It's a spear, very good. Let's spell spear. S-P-E-A-R, spear. How would you catch fish using a spear? Can I have someone else? Mm, someone who hasn't tried yet, come. Okay, how would you use a spear? How would you show me? How would you use a spear? Take the spear, you look. Oh, okay, yes. So everyone, you have to take your spear. Everyone take your spear. You have to look for your fish. Look for your fish. And then when you see the fish, what do you do? Oh, very good. You are all very good fishermen. For the second part of the activity, I've conducted a short quiz with the students and what I did was I printed out little pictures of fish and I pasted questions at the back. So when I put them across the board, it feels as though they're really fishing. So they're not just answering a quiz, you point out the students and ask the quiz, but it's more interactive, it's more fun, it's more competitive, it's, it's a modified game 
and students like the feel that they're actually holding the fishes that they've caught and it means like, oh, I've got one point, I've caught a fish. It, it really suits the unit which is from the sea. I'm going to put you into groups. The first group is group fishing net. This group is group fishing net. And this group, this group is fishing rod. Come someone, you. The third group is team Ubu. And the last group, you are group spear. Thank you, Lutfi. Okay, now we're going to play a special game. Okay, can you see all the fish here? I've got so many fish. Okay, this is your sea. This is your sea and you are my fisherman. Okay, we're going to play a special game right now. Are you ready? Yeah! Good. Okay, fishing rod. Choose one number. You want number one? Where is number one? A shark breathes through a blowhole. True or false? False. False, correct. Give them a clap. They got one. Fish. Okay, next. Spear. Choose one number. Three. Three, okay. How many claws does a lobster have? How many claws does a lobster have? Two. Good. Give them a clap. Yay. Next. Team Boo Boo. What number? Six. Ah. Dolphins and whales breathe through something called? Blowhole. Blowhole. Very good. Ah. Got one fish. Team fishing net. Choose one number. Discuss with your friends. Talk to your friends. Choose one number. Two. Two. Okay. Everyone, listen, yeah? Name a sea creature that gives birth to its young. One animal. Whale. Good. Whale. I really like this activity because it, it makes learning so much fun and better. Do you like the game? Yeah. yeah! Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. Okay, fishing net, how many fish do you have? Five. Fishing rod has five fish. Six. Spear has six fish. So our winner today is Team Spear. Clap your hands for Team Spear. The lesson just now was to cater for um, SKTM 4.7, which is penggunaan sumber, which is the use of um, creative use of teaching aids to help engage students in my class.